to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. I didn't feel that good about it. I felt the integrity of the character was being compromised. I don't know. I, I had so much dialogue in the show. I don't see what it is. Your segments are only about a minute and a half to two minutes long. They are? <laughs> That's a long time to be lost in a monologue. <laughs> to sort of meet and get to know the, the people in the next cast and of course they the the previous season and you're the new season coming in and that's kind of weird but um you know I, I played such an arrogant character that I just used that as, as a part of uh, what was going on with the character I didn't really care and uh, I was boastful about it um, but uh, you know it, it's it's no different than any time you work with a cast a new cast in a, in a film or anyone else. You just get to know them, and you do the character work and the study and you go on. Being in Forever Red was an honor. Koichi invited me to that because the character wore that, because the Quantum Ranger wore a red suit as well. And was, I guess, a red ranger. That, the best gear. that was, uh, what was that? You had the best gear. Uh, that, thank you very yeah. much. I thought that. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was an honor. That was an honor. And then, you know, like the rest of the guys that are on that show, we're all sitting there thinking, God, I don't have enough fight scenes in this yet. I need some more screen time. <laughs> but uh, it, was a, it was an honor and a pleasure. She uh, and I went out to dinner uh, after the show once or twice, and she was, a, she was an interesting girl. One of my favorite characters in the show, Lord and Rita. <laughs> Lord Zen and Now, what are we saying? And Rita, and Rita, I, have, I love doing Orbis too. And Stockett, and Mandylock. I don't know the answer now. I mean, I, any character that I'm doing is my favorite at the time that I'm doing it. <laughs> I did I Guy, by the way. I was I uh, What's the What are we line? saying? No. <laughs> However, I'll tell you what, because I did, I did all my own stunts in that show. Um, and I have to say, except for the costume stuff, that, they, they rarely had me transfer into the Quantum Ranger, because they had me doing a lot of that, of my own action as the actor. Whenever it was the costume character, uh, most of the time it was the Japanese crew, but a few times it was my crewmate who was also a stunt. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But, in... Uh, I can't remember the name of the episode, but it's the episode where my morpher, quantum morpher, is taken, and um, there's a scene I know from the Japanese footage where the guy jumps off a bridge into the water. It's a high fall, and that takes a, a specific skill set to be able to do. And I remember thinking, are they going to make me jump off the bridge? <laughs> I mean, can I say no? I'm, I'm this guy who's supposed to be a stunt guy and does all his own stuff. Am I going to say no? And they're setting it up, and they're putting the mattress underneath, and I'm thinking, are they going to get the first the shot of me jumping off the bridge close up and then have me go into the water? And I remember being quite nervous about that. And they used the Japanese footage of the stun guy. No, I'm grateful for that. I used to watch all the dailies from the show, and I did, you know, when I was doing all the action, and I was, you know, trying really hard to make this character good and develop the character. And I remember one day doing all the stunts and then doing a scene with uh, Aaron Cahill by the river and being really exhausted for that scene. When I went back to watch the dailies, the reason I was exhausted was because I was running around doing the stunts all day, too. And you can't tell it's me doing me. And I sat there and I thought, okay, this is a good lesson. Just because I was a stuntman, I don't have to have an ego about it. It's good to have a stunt guy come in. And 
and nowadays, uh, after I've had a few more years uh, of some stunt jobs here and there, I I'm much more appreciative of when, when I'm done, and I welcome the fact. I kind of knew that was coming, that he was, that he was gonna have to come around, because he's a hero. And, uh, you know, aside from his, his dark backstory, your hero has to be likable. But what I did was I approached it from a character standpoint that whether it was evil, an evil character, the, the, uh, the, um, the villain, or the, the hero, the antagonist, or the protagonist, from their standpoint, they are the hero of their own story. Yeah. And that's where I went, and whatever was going to happen was going to happen. And so I played him hardcore. And, uh, and I loved it. I thought it was great. I mean, I think sometimes it kind of went to my own head. <laughs> Started walking around like I was there in my own personal life. Um, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I never thought of her as a side character. I thought of it more as a storyline, and you know, I was fine with that. And um, when she disappeared for a while, I, I was kind of disappointed. I thought I'm done. And I actually had the I wore the costume once and made a picture for Haim and Shuki saying, um, "Out of work Empress needs employment." <laughs> She came back, so it worked great. And and, and then when when uh, Robert and I were, you know, fighting and bickering, it, it it had a new life and a wonderful life. I loved when we were married and everything. It was funny, funny stuff. No, I I, I can't say that. No, I haven't either. No. I wish I had. What is super center? I don't know. <laughs> But then, um, do you guys, uh, which do you guys think is better, um, the Power Ranger or the Super Sentai? Uh, you know what, I take that back. I'll tell you, hold on a second, I take that back. Because the stunt guys that did the show, a lot of them were the stunt guys from Super Sentai. Ah. So, in a sense, yes, we had not only met them, we had worked with them. There you go. I never wore, well, I, wore the, I never wore the costume recording, so, no. <laughs> I, uh, I did the live show after the first screen test. And I wore the Black Ranger spandex, and then I got hired by corporate headquarters to do appearances because the sun guys were too busy. So I wore all the colors, all the reds. I wore all the costumes. I do not miss spandex. <laughs> I do a lot of motion capture work, and uh, I run into a lot of the sun guys and actors uh, uh, from the show and from the seasons. And, and the first thing we say is, this is Power Rangers all over again, isn't it? So, um, so, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What was that? No, I never did I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite, I didn't quite pull up the stance. I tried to, I tried to get him to let me do one of the things they would do. I was also wondering, you guys had like a bunch of toys and stuff. Did you ever catch yourself playing with your own character? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that way, there's two ways to answer that question. <laughs> I take him into the tub with me. <laughs> Hero structure. When, you know, when I was a quantum ranger as the actor outside of the costume, that that was a character with an edge. Um, otherwise, whenever you did the Red Ranger stuff in the costume, you had. I learned from the stunt guys there were certain ways to present yourself and to tilt your head and to convey certain emotions, and so you had this structure that you had to work with when you were doing the costume work, and uh, it came in handy. It came in handy in a lot of the work I ended up doing in the future. So it was, um, it felt similar, but a little darker when I was the quantum ranger. Cool. I thought so. Uh, do you do, one more, um, do you still stunt double for the rangers, or? No, no I don't. All right, then. thanks. You love it. <laughs>
Oh. Okay. Happy birthday, Sophia! <laughs>